Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hi, I'm Hana, and I'm a digital artist. It's been a while since the last one, but four months ago, I asked you guys to give me your original character ideas so I could create one mega OC. I think I lost my mind a little because this time I picked out 50 comments to put into this one character. It's going to be very interesting, and I can confirm that there is a giant woman in this episode, so buckle in for an immensely good time. First comment, or comments, I should say, is to make the queen of Saturn. For context, in our latest videos, we created two original characters, Citrina and Enceladus, from these challenges. You might want to watch those to get an understanding of the lore and story to date, but basically, Citrina is a person made of crystals and is being sought after for said crystals. Enceladus, a moon retainer of one of the moons of Saturn, is asked to befriend and then betray <laughs> Citrina. And of course, this time, we are going to design the one in question that Enceladus serves, Mother of All, Queen of Saturn. I will do an adjacent series to this where I'll create unrelated characters from your other comments, but since you all love the lore of this one so much, I figured I gotta continue it for y'all. So I've drawn a base for our queen. Second comment says to make her look down on you and possibly make her a king instead. I did contemplate this for a second, so I played around with the idea of two halves of a whole where I designed one more mask-presenting king who would rule over the people and land, and a more femme-presenting queen who is more feral in nature and would rule over the skies and fight off the storms. But essentially, it's one queen who transforms from one form to another, possibly through her rings. Third comment, make her extremely nice and famous and loved. I'll call the mask presenting Saturn king and the femme presenting feral Saturn queen for now. Let's make king the one who is kind and well loved by her subjects because she's the one that people mostly see. Let's even say people have no idea about the queen form at all. Fourth comment is to make her androgynous. All right, let's give her lots of muscles and balance her softness with some edges to give her more of an androgynous look. Personally, I love characters with a balance of both femininity and masculinity. Fifth and sixth comment says to make her a giant. So we've got are giant, and for comparison, I think Citrina and Enceladus would be about this small. Seventh comment says to make her float. She will most definitely be floating and gliding since Saturn's atmosphere is mostly gas and storms. Comment eight says to add tattoos. Let's give her tattoos similar to Citrina here. Comment nine says to make her nice, but you can tell she has a dark side. Let's give her an ominous expression that almost looks like she loves and cares for you like a mother, but you can tell she sees you as a lesser being. Tenth comment says to make her fierce and strict, but soft and caring on the inside. This is pretty contradictory to the last comment, so let's make Queen the one who's fierce on the outside, but caring on the inside by making her feral. Comment 11 says to make her charismatic and smart while everyone fears her because they don't know what she's thinking. I think her giant form and ominous expressions does a good job of displaying this. Comment 12 and 13 say to make her bird themed and give her bird motifs. Alrighty, I have been envisioning Saturn to be kind of like a giant bird so she can fight off the storms and be able to fly through Saturn's turbulent atmosphere. 14th comment says to give them wings. How about three pairs of wings? Queen would definitely have her wings fully spread out. King, however, I think spends most of her time on the icy rings and moons of Saturn or building cities high above the clouds of the planet. So she keeps her wings tucked and tied behind her. Comment 15, put wings instead of ears on the character. You got it, more wings. 16th comment, make a blind character with a grumpy personality. I think Queen would definitely be blind due to constantly weathering the storms. She and King would also have very fluffy and feathery eyelashes. Comment 17, make a girl with some storm magic. I love this. Both king and queen are capable of using storm magic. Due to the nature of Saturn, this is manipulating clouds and tornadoes, summoning lightning and ice shards from hail. Of course, they also have flight to be able to navigate the skies. To be honest, it's giving Zapdos and Articuno from Pokemon. We love that for her. 18th comment says, very fluffy hair is all I ask for. You got it, boss. Comment 19 says, do a boy but with long hair. 
Long hair, done. The 20th comment says to give them a jellyfish haircut. I gave them short hair with long hair in the back. Does that count? Comment 21, give them long wavy blonde hair. Blonde it is. Comment 22 says give them hair inspired by the colors of the planet. Hmm, okay. However, blonde, but make it blue under. And we'll reverse for queen. Comment 23, give them a big braid in the back. Can't say no to braids. And comment 24 says to have their hair terminate into feathers at the end. Suits the bird theme, so here we go. Phew. We are about halfway through the design comments, and so far king and queen are coming out pretty cool. I think it's time for a short break, so let's take a look at the sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform that allows you to create your online web presence to your liking. It is so simple to use and you don't need to be tech savvy at all to make a beautiful website, which is great news for me as an artist who likes to spend all her time drawing. You also have the ability to create your own online store, blog, and more on your website. Sell digital content. Squarespace allows you to sell digital content like music, art files, and ebooks via a direct download from your site in an online store. Digital products are delivered through customized email links that expire within 24 hours. Product Image Zoom Another great feature of the store is that when someone views your product image, you can set it to zoom in when their mouse hovers over the image or through manually clicking. Built-in Mobile Websites Once you're finished designing your website to perfection, all you need to do is click the mobile page button to view your mobile experience. Adjust the mobile site to your needs, and now your content will look great on every device, every time. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash hanaq to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And now, back to the video. Welcome back, space scoundrel. Let's get right back into it. Comment 25 says to give them honey-colored brown eyes. Love brown, so you got it. Comet 26 says to give them an abnormal amount of eyes. Saturn is heading a little towards monster body horrors, so I'll keep it tame with a few extra eyes. Comet 27 says to give her a light outfit. I've been thinking white cloth, so let's do that. Comet 28 gave her a long draping dress with golden details and planet motifs. Lots of gold and rings all around her. Comet 29 gave her elegant clothes, but more impotent and fancy. I keep imagining something Greek themed because of the planet's associations with astrology and Greek mythology, so let's do that. 30th comment says to make her a sexy villain like Queen Beryl from Sailor Moon. Queen will definitely be a sexy villainess. Comment 31, give her high-heeled boots that go knee-high and long nails. Done and done. Comment 32, give her lots of bracelets. Bracelets galore, plus they match with the rings aesthetic. Comment 33 says, give her a big round ring on her head as a crown. And comment 34 says, give her rings as a halo. I did both, but differently for king and queen. Comment 35, have twinkling stars coming off her. I keep imagining that the halo crown would have a veil that has the twinkling space and stars in them. I also imagine the crown being the way that Saturn transforms between king and queen. Comment 36 says to give her anklets. Call her Shang-Chi because she's just collecting rings at this point. Comment 37 says to add icy like crystals. This is based on the fact that Saturn's rings are mostly made of ice, so you got it. Comment 38 says to add rings anywhere on her. With so many rings, I had this thought that King would have complete rings around herself and Queens would be unhooked or broken. Comment 39, give her a giant hat. I'm not sure if this giant halo counts as a hat, but I'm gonna say yes it does. 40th comment says to give her a crown with Saturn on it. You got it. Comment 41 says to give her white gloves. I guess she's too good to touch us with her bare hands, so... Comment 42 and 43, which are the final design comments, says we should name the queen of Saturn, Lithia and Cilia. And I do like these names, so Lithia and Cilia it is. Although I don't know which is which yet. All right, how are you guys liking our designs for the queen of Saturn? I think she came out incredibly handsome on one part and feral AF on another part. And she would definitely give you mommy issues. But as you guys know, I could never leave an OC without a backstory, so let's go and explore some more lore and personality comments. And if you're enjoying the video and want to see more, let me know by liking this video and subscribing. These take a lot of work and research, but I have so much fun with them, so I would really appreciate the support. So 
move for this section, I am going to be exploring drawings Celia, who I've associated with the queen by now, and coming up with some lore for her. Now, I wish I could do a full out drawing for this, but I am on a time budget, so we're just going to do some exploratory art here. Comet 44 says to base the story off the Greek goddess Astria. Though I vaguely read up on this, and Astria was a goddess known for her justice, innocence, and purity, and sometimes known as the Star Goddess. She's a descendant of Astrius, god of dusk, and Eos, god of dawn. She lived amongst the humans during the Golden Age, but left during the Bronze Age after she was disgusted by the humans in war. Apparently, she was the last of the gods to stick with the humans. However, people still believe that she will return, and thus she symbolizes the fall of humanity and hope that a new age of innocence will return. Return. This is a really captivating story, and I definitely think Lithia and Celia are descendants of gods and came from the stars. Either they are one or two separate entities I haven't decided yet. But Lithia represents the love of humanity, while I think Celia is the one who is disgusted by humanity. One wishes to build it back up, and the other wants it to die. But for now, the two are at a standstill alliance. Comet 45 says to expand the lore of the universe. So here is my current story for the entire Saturn debacle. Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system, which makes Lithia and Celia the second largest rulers. This gives an interesting thought of a much larger Jupiter ruler. Saturn is completely inhabitable, so it's only thanks to Lithia and Celia's powers that they were able to build a civilization above the skies of Saturn. Many moons have come to take refuge in Saturn's gravitational pull, and Celia will often gather resources from Saturn like minerals, rocks, etc., and give them to Lithia who will build for and support the humans living above the skies, in the icy rings, or on the moons. The people revere Lithia and see her as a god, but are very fearful of Celia. Lithia spoils her subjects and creates a strong cult built upon worship and adoration for her, much like Enceladus. Celia spends most of her time in the unruly, stormy inner workings of Saturn, which is how she sensed Citrina's presence at the core of Saturn and brought her to Lithia. Now, Lithia's intention with Citrina is still unclear, but she knows something of Citrina's past, which is why she keeps her so close and is adamant on using her existence to her benefit. Who she intends to use Citrina against and what Citrina's past is related to, be it Saturn or one of the other planets, is unknown. One thing's for sure, Citrina knows that Lithia and Celia are trouble and wants out. Comment 46 says that another member of Saturn's court has a secret and is an outlaw like Citrina, but they disguise themselves amongst the court. Comment 47 says that maybe Saturn is hiding the fact that Uranus is a love interest from her people. And Comment 48 says that maybe Uranus has a lord and he and Saturn are married or having an affair. These comments have got me thinking that Uranus and Saturn definitely need to have some sort of relationship. I think perhaps they are engaged, but it's a political arrangement. Uranus the planet is decent in ranking as well, but perhaps a son of the king is engaged to Saturn in hopes of creating a strong political alliance to overthrow the solar aristocracy, or something like that. So he is a prince, but he does not want this marriage for his own personal reasons, and in hopes of destroying the alliance, he disguises himself as part of the Saturn court. This is where he meets Citrina for the first time, and in somehow knowing that she must be special, he helps her escape to his home planet, Uranus. This, of course, causes uproar in many ways. He reveals himself as the crown prince and traitor to Saturn, and also unlawfully escapes with a prisoner. Comet 49 says to give more Saturn lore. All right, here's some final tidbits. We know Lithia is an unbiased hand of justice who loves the humans only when she believes they are to her standards of good. She spoils the humans on Saturn with her love and cares for naught else. Celia is a feral being that the humans fear, so Lithia banishes her from coming close. She is a lonely being who despises the humans for taking Lithia away from her. They could be considered sisters or two halves to one whole. The two have a lot of tension, and I predict there could be an all-out war between the two of them eventually. Luckily, Citrina is gonna book it before this happens. Comment 50! It's the final comment! The Sun is the highest ranking member of the solar aristocracy, with the planets having rulers and power based on the size, with the Sun being an all-seeing tyrant. I love this idea. The sun definitely needs to be the source of all the power in the solar system, as it gives us life as a whole. There's so much further we can go with this. What are Citrina's origins? If not Saturn, where was she born? Are there other crystal people? What does Lithia know about her past? Will she and Enceladus meet again? What about this new Uranus prince? Will he help her or betray her like Enceladus did? And what happens when the tyrannical sun finds out about Citrina's existence? Will she destroy planets to come search for her? 
Who knows? I'll let you guys decide. But for now, we're finished with our Saturn ruler, Lithia and Celia. She's masculine, she's feral, she's whatever you like, mommy issues and all. And I love her. Well, it's the end of the video. I am pooped from the editing and art and research of this video. I so wish I had more time to explore a cinematic drawing for Cilia, but alas, I can't this time. But I hope you guys enjoyed the design and lore nonetheless. This has been extremely fun. And if you guys want your comments featured in the next video, leave me your character ideas below and tell me who I should make next. I'll probably do a separate video for characters unrelated to this solar system story and lore, but I would love to do more if that's what you guys want. And thank you guys for more lovely fan art. Until next time, I'm wishing you all the best on your journeys of achieving your goals and dreams. Bye!